Hey, greetings everyone. Just thought I'd give you an update on this rainwater collection project. Actually, the second one using the big IBC totes. We're actually in phase two, I guess. Phase one was to identify where to buy these and to go get them. We've done that. Now phase two is to uh, get them cleaned up and ready for use. These had olive oil in them, as I mentioned earlier. So they were a bit sticky. They had uh, quite a bit of residue on the wire frame and even on the inside yet. So I wanted to get that off because you don't want that on there, you know, collecting dirt and attracting bugs and all that sort of thing. Used the uh, pressure washer, but it wasn't super effective by itself. Had to use some chemicals. This grease lightning is one of the few chemicals I could find left off the shelves, the grocery store shelves. It actually cuts grease. That worked pretty well. Brush it on or spray it on full strength and then hit it with a brush and then hose it off. I ran out of that, so I had some of this crud cutter left in the uh, shed. Tried to use that to clean the siding on the house. And that also cut through the uh, grease pretty good. Even has some on the bottom of this uh, tote that's sitting on its side over here. And I'm still get, working on getting that one clean. But the uh, tote on the right right now is full of water. And I dumped an entire gallon of uh, concentrated bleach in there just to disinfect it, sterilize it. And I'll basically leave that water in there until I'm ready to move them down under the deck into position. What I'll do now is take you down there and show you where it's going to go under the deck and what we have to do to get that site ready. Okay, be right back with you. Hey, we're underneath my deck right now, and we're looking at the area up here underneath these stairs in the stone area where I'm going to put these two IBC totes, the 275-gallon plastic containers for my rainwater collection system. As you can see on the left over here, I have the uh, standard 55 gallon plastic drums that I got from the local soda factory. Decide not to use those as I talked about earlier just because I can get the equivalent of five of these barrels worth of water in one of these IBC totes. So they take up a little less space and I don't have to run all the interconnecting plumbing. I'm going to have two uh, totes sitting right here side-by-side side facing this direction and since we're on a bit of a slope and these things are very heavy figure eight uh, pounds per gallon of water times 275 gallons each it's quite a bit of weight so I want to have a good sturdy foundation there for that I'm gonna to have to pull these stones back and excavate a little bit get down to some hard clay which won't take me too too long this is pretty hard to grind underneath the deck here and then probably use some standard um, concrete blocks to build a foundation up. I thought about just putting a wood foundation there with maybe some 2x10s or something, or 6x6 posts, but as I mentioned before, that's a lot of weight, so I'd feel a lot better if it was sitting on a firm concrete uh, foundation. We'll get started on that next week or so, and I'll show you the progress as we go along. What we're going to do with the water is... Back here I have some more gardens, and of course we'll use it to um, feed those gardens and also feed this water fountain here. As you can see right now it's sucking air and needs to be filled up. Probably goes through about 10 gallons of water a day I'd estimate, maybe more when it's really hot out because it evaporates pretty quickly and also splashes out. Typically I have a system on here that will go off on a timer so it'll fill it up automatically a couple times a day. Of course, that runs the uh, causes the well pump to run at all hours of the night, and with the rainwater, it'll just uh, save some water out of my well, some wear and tear on the wear and tear on the pump, and I'll also have fresh rainwater that doesn't have the uh, hard calcium in it, so I won't get the calcium stains on the fountain. And also down lower here, I have my little experimental bio pond, which you can sort of see behind this post here. I have some other videos on it. I can also use the fresh rainwater to uh, fill this up. Okay, as we make some more progress on this project, I'll keep you updated.